Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about the numbers. A man who knew every numbers very well. Yes, we are talking about the mathematical genius of India, Srinivas Ramanujam. So tie your seat belt to dive into the maze world of Ramanujam mathematics. Let's get it started. Ramanujan was born on December 22, 1887 in a Brahmin Hindu family at a road near Kumbakonam, a small town in South India. His father was a clerk in a cloth merchant's office in Kumbakonam and used to maintain his family with a small income. His mother was a devoted housewife and had a strong religious belief. At the age of seven, young Ramanujan was sent to a high school Kumbakonam and remained there until he was 16. He soon found to be a brilliant student and his outstanding ability to begin to reveal itself. Before he was 10, by the time Ramanujan was 12 or 13, he was truly recognized as one of the most outstanding young students. He remained brilliant throughout his life and his talent and interest were singularly directed toward mathematics. Like Albert Einstein, Ramanujan became entranced by an elementary textbook entitled A Synopsis of Elementary Results in Pure and Applied Mathematics by G. S. Carr. In 1903, Ramanujan passed the matriculation examination of University of Madras and joined the Government College of Kumbakonam in 1904 with the Subramanian Scholarship which is the usually awarded to students for proficiency in mathematics and English. During the summer of 1909, Ramanujan married to Janki. At the advice of his teacher and friend Sheshu Ayer, Ramanujan wrote a letter on January 13, 1913 to famous British mathematician G. H. Hardy, then the follow Trinity College, Cambridge. In close also, this letter was a set of mathematical results including 120 theorems. May 1, 1913 the 25-year-old Ramanujan formally resigned from the Madras Port Trust office where he was working and joined the University of Madras as a research scholarship with a small scholarship. During his stay in Cambridge from 1914 to 1919, in the year 1914 to 1919, Ramanujan spent more of his time in following research areas which are theory of partition of number, the Rogers Ramanujan identities, hypergeometric functions, continued functions, theory of representations of number as sum of squares and many more things. In May 1917, Hardy wrote a letter to the University of Madras informing that Ramanujan was infected with a incurable disease possibly tuberculosis. In order to get a better medical treatment, it was necessary for him to stay in England for some time. On February 28, 1980, he was elected a fellow of the Royal Society at the early age of 30. He was the first Indian on whom the highest honor was conferred at the first proposal. He left England on February 27, 1919. And then arrived at Bombay on March 17, 1919. In spite of his health gradually deteriorating, the best medical care and treatment available at that time were arranged for him. Unfortunately, everything was unsuccessful. He died on April 29, 1920 at the age of 32 at Chetput. Let's have a look on his sum of mathematical contribution especially in number theory. Number 1. Magic Square Srinivasa Ramanujan was interested in magic square. The simplest magic square is filled up to the cell in a square with three rows and three columns with the number 1 to 9, such that each row sum equal to each column sum equal to each diagonal sum. Number 2. Theory of Partitions The magic square from the nucleus of the theory of partitions developed by Srinivasa Ramanujan. His fascinations from magic square led him in his latter life to work on this theory. Three of his paper of part theory of partition were published in the year 1919, 1920 and 1921. Number 3. Highly Composite Numbers A highly composite number is a positive integer with more divisors than any smaller positive integer has. The term was coined by Ramanujan in 1915 
One of the highly composite numbers calculated by Ramanujan is 6746328388800. Posthumous recognition 22nd December is celebrated as a state IT day in Tamil Nadu. On his 75th birthday anniversary, the Government of India released a stamp picturing Ramanujan. Government Art College Kumbakonam, where he studied, and the IIT Madras in Chennai celebrate 22nd December as a Ramanujan Day. In 2011, the Government of India declared 22nd December as a National Mathematical Day. In year 2012, the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Manmohan Singh, declared the year of National Mathematical Year. Let's talk about Ramanujan's maths application. There are lots of applications are driven and many are in progress. But here we are focusing on his recent attractions. On his birth anniversary, December 22, 2019, the Hindus published an article on his maths applications, where they are targeting that how Ramanujan's math contributing in fields of signal processing and on study of black hole entropy. There are millions of applications can be possible with his great contribution and the world is looking into it. An American mathematician and professor Freeman Dyson once said, the seed from Ramanujan's gardens have been blowing on the wind and have been sprouting all over the landscape. That's all from my end and I hope you enjoyed this video as well. To see more video like this, you can do subscribe, like and comment. You can also suggest me for the improvement and the next hack as well. Our world hack agenda is to bring truth and transparency in the information. Thank you.